Hi, Uli here. In this video, I'd like to explain you how to create your own icon fonts. Maybe you know about Font Awesome or other icon fonts, for example, in your smartphone. Basically, you can create from any simple SVG file an icon font. And in this video, I'd like to explain how to do it. You can find in the description all the links I'm showing you in this video and as well the code on my GitHub page. There are many packages you can choose from. The one I use is Fantasticon. My experience is if you figured out how one package is working, the other ones are not so difficult. Here's the package on the NPM site and sometimes you have instruction here or sometimes not. So you can always go to the GitHub page. And then here you found everything you need, how it works. And as you can see, there want to install this globally, but to make the decision if you want to install it globally or locally is actually not too easy to answer. It depends if you want it directly in your project or you create your own icon font in the separate directory. One thing to consider is if you installed it globally and for example, you updating Node.js, what can happen is that the old version is not compatible with the new version of Node.js. And then if you did it like a long time ago, you maybe forgot about it. And so sometimes it's hard then to uh, make some troubleshooting. I did this before in many of my projects, all the packages I need, I installed globally and figured out many packages how to install them as well globally. And then I updated Node.js and then nothing it works anymore. Since then, I usually install my packages always locally and add them directly to the project. I prepared already a project directory. Let me open my file explorer and here are my files. So that's my icons and I prepared some Greek font icons and the readme file. So let me open WebStorm with right click and then open WebStorm. So here's the readme file and here we have the installation and setups instruction. So first let me open my terminal with Alt F12. Let me clear the screen. First, we initiate npm with npm init and then hyphen y. And the hyphen y is to confirm the default or the custom settings. So let me run this one. The next one, we install the package with Fantasticon and we can copy and paste it here. So the installation is successful and we got four high vulnerabilities. What is basically not a problem here. And now we need a directory where we can output our project. And I creating it directly here with MD for make directory in Windows and then icon hyphen dist. And then with shift escape, I closing this here first. And here now I have my icon dist and every information I need here. So here are the, the different icons I prepared. And if you don't have any icons or you're looking for a good sort is here this SVG repo. And here you can find, as you can see, more than 300,000 SVG files. And you have to wait uh, if you can use them. If they're for free, this will be everything here in the description of any icon you're looking for. So back to WebStorm. So the basic command is actually Fantasticon my icons is where uh, my icons are. And then hyphen O for the output and then icon dist and you of course you can change the directory names so let me copy that and with alt f12 we open the terminal again and then control v and install aha uh -huh. we get an error here so what's that as we just installed in this one here um the package windows really doesn't know it exists so we have to close this here and then open it again pasting it again and then run it again so that's it. This was pretty quick. And here we can see now our icons. So let's open the icons HTML. And then I have here the browser icons in other tutorial. Actually, I removed those. Let me show you where you can activate them. So with Control Alt and S, go to the settings. And then in tools. And here web browser and preview. You just have to check for HTML files. And now we can use the internal browser from WebStorm, clicking on this one. And these are our icons. And here in the HTML file, you can see how to use it. This is some basic code for, for the structure here. And then um, you actually basically using them with the iTag and the class. And then you have your icon and then the name of the alpha uh, lowercase in this, in this case here, what I used here. Here, if we 
See this, how I named them, and you can change it, of course. And the word icon coming all from the package. What you can basically, let me close this one, see here in the readme. So all the comments you have on the website, like here, for better readability, I copied them already for you uh, because you always have to scroll here. In WebStorm, I can see them directly here. So let's go quick over the settings with the hyphen V or double hyphen version. You can use version number. And here you can see two aliases. And usually I'm using only the one letter stuff because it's easy for me. So you can configure them in a separate file. Uh, you can change the file name or you use uh, what there is the default. Then the output directory. So the name and here is it icons for the file names. You can see here on the left side. Then we have the standard type. Here we have the default. What is then UT? and so on. And I have all the description here in the readme file. So this is actually interesting. Uh, maybe if you need uh, some other files or like um, sometimes I add a TTF so I can use it easily for Windows. But if you want to add TTF, then it's not enough. You add TTF. So you have to use all you need then in this case. So the default plus then the TTF. So the hyphen G is for the assets. And here is the default CSS, HTML, JSON, TS for TypeScript. If you know already what you're doing and you're putting it, for example, in your Webpack project, then you only need as CSS. If you need a bigger height of your icons, you can change that here or they will be all outputted in the, of course, in the same height, what is pretty good. And the default is here 300. And then for the decent and normalized uh, fonts and so on and running it up, basically I never use that. Interesting would be maybe running it silently when everything is running smoothly and you don't need any log files anymore. So let me give you an example for the assets. And when we copying this one, control copy and then open the terminal again. And this time we don't need to open a new terminal. So we clear the, clear the screen. And now we don't see any changes. And that's why, because we haven't deleted our icon disk because um, this packages doesn't do any for our maintaining here. So what we have to do, we clean them all and then try it again with the up arrow. We can go to our last command. It's done already. And now you can see I have less files here. And here I see only CSS and uh, HTML and all the other default ones. For example, here the CSS, HTML we still got and then JSON, TS, it's gone. And let me delete this one more time. And give you another example for the font. Pasting it here. Checking it out here again. And now we have the basic from the from the generated files again, but only for two type fonts. And if you checking it out here, then you see the embedded open type, what is EUT, and then the open the web open font format and the two type and what is SVG, so on. You get all the information here and as well the Wikipedia pages where you can read more about those font types. So, and that is cumbersome to add all the time, like running the script from the terminal and so on. So let's close the terminal. And what we want to use is actually the package.json where we can add some scripts here and it makes our life much easier. Before we add the scripts here, we need two other packages for maintenance our project. First, do, to delete all the files and it is easier to delete the directory. Then we have to create a new directory. And what I figured is when we're using the Windows commands to do this, we first, we, is it not always running smoothly with uh, the package.json? And the second one, I want to add uh, a config file for using some variables and we can't use them there. So what I will do, I install two new packages and the one I choose is the DLL hyphen CLI and then the MKDR P. So let's do that. Copy and paste this command here and then open the terminal. Pasting it and run that. And here for a quick explanation, npm, then i for the installation and the hyphen capital D is for dev dependencies. So back to our packages and closing the terminal as well. And first I want to do some maintenance here. I'm 
cutting those ones and add them here. But this is just my preferences. You don't have to do it. So we deleting the complete script here. Now let me do first adding the config in double quotes config. And here we need an SVG here. And here I choose the same directory name, my icons. And as well, we need an icon font here. And here I choose as well icon hyphen dist. So now I will delete the script here. Shift Control and L highlighting it. So the first script I like to add is del make icon font here. And we forgot the quotes. And here is del CLI. And now I use the variable with npm underscore package underscore config underscore icon font here and then another percent sign so and how you actually choose your package name you could uh, put them as well like icon underscore font underscore here that's up to you so now double app and percent because we want to add another command and here mk dear p and here i using it again so percent sign npm underscore package underscore config underscore icon font dear have to be exactly spelled like it is here okay then a comma so the next one is actually how i create my icons and here i use um icon fonts and now i have to call the fantasticon and then again percent sign npm underscore package underscore config underscore svg and then deal and then hyphen o for output and then npm underscore config underscore oh, sorry package underscore now config underscore and again icon font deal so, and the last one is actually for creating the icons. So now we create icon fonts, colon and double quotes. And here, first we npm and we run the del make icon font here. And then, not make, delete make icon font here. And then double n percent and npm run icon fonts so there are packages where you can use to run multiple scripts and there's as well a function in webstorm but sometimes i delete the idea directory so when i just only saving this one because it's not always necessary that you have all the settings what you use for um, webstorm or something breaks and you have to delete it so that's why i always like to do some everything from my package.json file so now we will run this command only the create icon fonts and here on the left side you can see we still have missing some files and now when I create the icon fonts and this I can do easily because my cursor is still in the in in the last script here so with shift control and then f10 I can run the script and here you can see first I deleted it then I created it and then I have an invalid option so here must be then a spelling mistake and of course I forgot here a percent sign. Okay, let's run this again. So let's shift F10. So the good thing is we deleted already the directory and we created it, but we cannot create this one because I forgot it here as well. Shift F10 again. And now it's working. So as you can see here, I get now all the fonts. And now it's actually easy to customize my script here. When I say, for example, here, the two other one I used what we, this one here, and then hyphen T and TTF. Let's run it again with Shift F10. And now you can see I have only the stuff I wanted here. Let's start this one, closing this one, and here my icon fonts running. But of course, with all the browser support, we should not use only TTF. And I think here, uh, we don't have to change anything in the fonts. I just would 
output the generated file for your project, this one. And here you could still get the CSS and HTML to see all your icons uh, here and then just don't upload them to the server or you just um, creating different kind of script so you could add here one for development and one for production so that's all for me thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye